Welcome to our coding challenge video. Today, we're tackling an interesting problem that many programmers encounter. Our viewer is trying to iterate over two lists of numbers that have different lengths. Let's dive into the specifics of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To iterate over two lists of different lengths, we need to ensure we don't run into an index out of range error. We'll use the built-in zip function, which allows us to iterate over both lists safely. The zip function pairs elements from both lists. If one list is shorter, zip will stop at the end of the shorter list, preventing any index errors. Now, let's modify our function to include the logic for inserting elements into the final list based on their values. We'll check each item from both lists Finally, we return the final list after processing both lists. This approach ensures that we handle lists of different lengths without errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To iterate over two lists of different lengths, you can use EditorTools.ZipLongest. This function pairs items from both lists, padding with none for any missing values. You can simplify your loop by flattening the pairs and filtering out none and zero values. Then append positive values to the final list and insert negative values at the start. Here's a code example. First, import zip longest, then create your final list by processing the paired items. If you want to keep zero values, adjust the filtering to only remove none. This way, you can insert zeros in the correct position in the final list. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To iterate over two lists of different lengths, you can check the index against the length of each list. If the index is valid, process the item accordingly. Alternatively, you can use iterTools.zip longest to handle lists of different lengths. This method allows you to specify a fill value for missing items. Remember to handle zeros correctly, as they are currently skipped. Also, consider using append instead of insert for better performance. You can simplify your code by using a nested loop to handle both items from the lists in a single iteration. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.